Hi Cancer! Welcome to your mid-January 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This will not resonate with every Cancer that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Cancer, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Cancer, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part, because I don't want your ears to hurt. So, let's do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started. I will be tuning into an energy that's in or around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time. Whether you are single or you're taken, whether you're together or apart, and keep in mind that this energy is fluid as time is fluid. So, you know, this could be past, present, future energy. Let's see who's coming through for my beautiful Cancers and why they're coming through for mid to end January. What will be happening for my Cancers in love and romance spirit? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or anyone dealing with a Cancer, what is happening mid to end January in love and romance? Alright, Cancer. True love. And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. So you guys are really feeling each other. There's definitely a bond here already that exists. If you're not interested in anyone, no one's interested in you, this may not be your reading because initially right off the bat, there's a strong pull to one another that I know you feel cancer from this card, from the energy I'm picking up on. Um, you two are really starting to just ground all the intentions, manifestations that you want to happen in this romance. I think Cancer, they're in love with you. They're definitely in love with you. And I feel that right now in this moment, it's just growing stronger between the two of you. And mid to end January, it's just going to build from here. That's already a pretty profound connection. I saw the letter P as in Peter. First, middle, last initial can mean something to someone. But this is deep love, deep connections. Um, you know, I kind of felt when I was ringing the bell, like this energy touching my pointer finger. Um, so I don't know if that's significant at all, if someone has like a tattoo, a scar, um, or someone just holds like the finger when you guys are talking or you like play with each other's hands or something like that. But Cancer, yeah, I don't know. We'll pull the tarot and get deeper into this, but there's not a doubt that someone has feelings for you and is really in love with you and isn't looking to have anything with anyone else. They only think of you. They only want to text you. They talk to people about you. They tell people about what you two have, how much they've been feeling about you. So off to a great start with my Cancers. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So with this spread, I'm going to be asking how this person feels about you right now. What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Cancer? Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Alright, Cancer, bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Leo energy. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate with you. But yeah, I kind of sense more than anything that someone wants to solidify the contract between the two of you. Maybe for some of you, mid to end January, you're going to have those discussions about how to, where you guys can go to be committed, to have a solid relationship, to be exclusive with one another because I feel this person is pretty territorial over you, Cancer. They want to let everyone know there's not a chance with you because they're talking to you. It feels like very strong masculine energy you're dealing with, but again, the roles could always be reversed. Um, that just, you know, anyone that looks your way, anyone that tries to flirt, they get, they can't help but get these feelings of passion and need to, like, put their arm around you or to, you know, hug you and kiss you in front of those people that maybe they feel are trying to see what's up with you or anything like that. They're definitely, definitely the type that will fight for you, Cancer, not obviously physically, I mean, maybe for some of you, but you know, they will be very, very competitive as far as making sure that you two stay together, that there's no one else that could be a better option than them. And I also feel with this Five of Wands too, there's just like this kind of jealousy around the connection between the two of you. And I don't know if this is coming from friends, family members, um, you know, because you two are doing so well, doing so great, and maybe you guys are spending more time with each other and it's taking away from, you know, other relationships. But if anyone tries to talk messy about you, Cancer, this person comes to your defense like that. Truly, they just think that you are really the one for them. And that's why they're so passionate about you, is that this is coming from a very, very deep feeling within. And I don't know if, I almost get for some of you, like this person doesn't get along with one of your family members or close friends, like your best friend or something like that. Um, and there may have been like a little bit of dispute you kind of got caught in the middle of that, I don't know, maybe some of you guys got annoyed with or frustrated with, whether it was on this person who you really like and or you got annoyed and frustrated with your friend or your family member, whatever. But I think you guys, I'm hearing like, it's us against the world and I know that kind of sounds um, cheesy or whatever, but I think it's really that case between the two of you. You're making it known that you're together and that's that. You're not going to take anyone's consideration, jealousies, or let anyone stop what you two have. And when I said us against the world, I heard the Tupac song, Me Against the World. I don't know if that resonates with anyone. Um, it's a great song. Look it up. But yeah, I think there's like strong passion and desire for you and maybe even this five of wands cancer this is coming from exes around your energy that's seeing you being in love with this new person that you moved on from them finally and that you're in a very happy place and maybe that's why this five of wands energy is coming in because now someone has an issue with it now that you're not waiting for them you moved on and you're much happier they may be trying to stir the pot start some drama that I think you kind of already like I don't know if you like called them out or you just blocked them but I think there's not much they can do here they don't have that much power to do anything except for sit there and be mad so let them be mad okay so let's go ahead and get into this how they feel about you is the page of cups so water energy cancer Scorpio Pisces energy you could be dealing with another water sign perhaps but their feelings I don't know, I feel like this is just them realizing that they're falling in love with you. That they have, it's turning more from a crush into something so much deeper. I think you're going to hear those words like, you know, Cancer, I really like you. And maybe they're even going to say those three words like, I love you. I heard Mia more. I don't know if uh, someone's um, no Spanish or maybe even Italian, I don't know, I'm kind of picking up on that for someone out there. They could have those ancestries or backgrounds, but yeah, Cancer, someone's really starting to open their heart to you. I think you're going to see it more and more, and the more time you spend together, the more you hang out with each other. It's really starting to be something where they say, this is it. 
I feel like someone writes poetry or someone is into poetry, like reads a lot of poetry or maybe like literature from like the 1800s, someone's like very romantic in a way and maybe they've someone has like a poetry or like a song lyric tattooed onto them. Anyway. What they think about you, Cancer, is the Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is the card of like so many emotions that starts to kind of affect the mental body. They definitely constantly daydream about you, daydream what it would be like to be with you, to take you on trips, to take you on dates, to show you off. But again, Cancer, I gotta say that I feel there could be someone who is a bit jealous. Maybe you know this already, maybe it starts to show, and maybe it's because this person has been betrayed in the past, has been hurt, and so, you know, they have some sort of wound around third parties or, you know, people talking to other people, and that kind of gets them going a bit and I feel they're trying to control it they're trying to keep it under wraps but you know they they like you so much that their emotions kind of just take control this person is definitely not afraid to show their emotions they may be a little bit up and down at times as far as not as far as like how they feel about you but I just feel like they really can't control themselves when they're around you the emotions and the passions that arise out of them when they're near you, when they spend a night with you, when they have to leave the next morning to go to work, like, it's really hitting them hard, Cancer. I feel that recently, like, you used their shower, or you guys took a shower together, a bath together, or um, they took a shower over at your house, and someone really likes your shampoo, the smell of it, I don't know, weird things I'm picking up on that's not for everyone. What they like the most about you, Cancer? Justice. Libra energy. Some of you can have Libra in your big three. But uh, yeah, Cancer, you are someone who is a loyal person, who is a genuine person, who does what's right at all times. And even being a Cancer or water sign, they find you to be very de objective and detached when it comes to making certain decisions. Some of you could work in law enforcement, um, you know, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, something in like the law enforcement system, right? You could be studying in law. Um, I get someone that likes to watch a lot of like crime documentaries. Maybe you guys have watched a few of those together. But they really do feel like you are someone who is a good person. And you don't let, you know, the d attachments of others kind of impact what you need to do for yourself and what's best for everyone else. You're fair-minded in all situations. You try to see the side in everything. And it's something they're not used to. Again, maybe I'm picking up again on some sort of jealousy or like, uh, they may have been around people who are always just so emotional, so dramatic, so chaotic, family, friends, or maybe even exes that were kind of out there. Um, so, you know, you kind of bring this clarity and this sense of grounding to them that they haven't been around when they've been dating people. You're kind of someone new that they've started to date that they haven't dated anyone like before. Um, and with this justice card, I think that you're not afraid to even stand up for other people, stand up for them, stand up for yourself. And maybe that was a hard lesson you had to learn over the years, but now you've kind of perfected it. You do, or you try to do what's right. In the moment that you have all the resources or the best options that you can make that decision, you always just try to make the sound decision. You're also a good friend. Um, and that, that's probably why they just defend you so much when people try to even try to talk something messy. I'm seeing white socks or maybe like white ankle socks or thigh high socks. I don't know. Or like, you know, those like, um, like bobby socks may resonate for someone. 
Now this is interesting. What they don't like about you is the Three of Cups. But again, I think this is correlating with the Seven of Cups. I don't know, again, maybe you guys have not been official yet. But they get this fear or this sense of, you know, you spending time or f with other people that they don't like. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. But like your friends or someone in your friend group or your family member is just they don't get along and they may think that like they always use you as like an emotional crutch or as like someone that they could just party with and have fun with but when they need when you need them they're not around i'm picking up on that for someone there but with this three of cups too um they may get a sense that you need your space a bit and there has been situations where they wanted to hang out but you already had plans with friends and family members that you didn't necessarily want them there for, which is normal, I feel, you know, but this person I think kind of got hurt by that or gets hurt when they're not invited to go hang out with your group of friends or other people. And I think, again, that just comes from a level of what they've been through of insecurity, I guess. But for most of you, I kind of get the sense that this is the fear they always have in love and romance with you or anyone, that there could be a possibility of cheating, of you know having casual relationships keeping it casual um i'm picking up on someone that could be bisexual as well yeah i kind of want to clarify this three of cups to get a little bit more specific tell me about temperance oh okay so for someone out there quite simply um you know, maybe they've tried to rush things or they've tried to, you know, make some things official too soon and you are still waiting it out. I think, again, you're a very objective person. You don't fly by your emotions, even though you're a cancer. I'm picking up, especially with the justice card, like, and maybe it's because you learned from the past of when you acted on your emotions, you just went through things on the fantasy and the whim that you didn't fully know someone until you started living with them until you until you started dating them so maybe you've been kind of taking things slow before that really happens i'm also getting a sense that um you may or they may right have like a friend or a roommate that you've used to hook up with or used to date that your friends now with but knowing that they're around is kind of they're trying to be patient, they're trying to not let their jealousy arise, but when they see you're texting them or wanting to hang out with them, emotions stir. Just for someone out there. Also, I get the sense that someone could be partying too much um, and they're afraid of that, or you are with this person, right? A lot of different messages. What's crowning this reading is the King of Wands. So Leo energy again, what they like the most about this connection is how strong they feel about this, how much they want this, they're ambitious. You are a part of their future plans, Cancer, and they seek to do what they can to keep this, to keep you around, to have all the goals checked off in the near future that they want to have with you. Okay, get Cancer, hang out with Cancer, um, solidify Cancer as my partner move in with cancer, you know, all the steps leading to the Ten of Pentacles that they want to have. They are stubborn. They get what they want, slowly but surely, in any way they can. I also feel, Cancer, that maybe they see you as an ambitious person, a creative person, um, who is hardworking, who does want to do a good job in everything that they do. You know, work, in the bed, romance. Um, and you bring this like power to this connection that is just undeniable. It's very attractive, it's very sexy. It's very magnetic and confident. Whether you feel like that 100% of the time, but that's how they're seeing you, Cancer. I just saw like a heart on flames so like, I don't know if that's an emoji you guys have sent to each other or like someone has a tattoo kind of similar to that, but like you really set their heart on fire just by thinking about you. Now this is interesting. 
What they don't like about the connection is the sun. Leo energy again. Um, if you guys have strong Leo in your chart or if you're dealing with the Leo, I'm going to be posting the Leo reading tomorrow. So check up on that. Um, but yeah, so I think because this person has so many goals and plans and what they want to do with you, that I think they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop or they're afraid that this could all be taken away from them. The happiness you give them, the success that they feel with being with you that they could already achieved you to this level of already feeling like they're falling in love with you. Um, you know, I also feel that Cancer, someone here, maybe it be like pretty known. Um, again, that doesn't have to be globally celebrity, but it may be kind of like someone has a lot of followers on the social media platform or someone's just very popular. Um, and so maybe, you know, you just get a lot of attention from your shine, from your glow. You just kind of light up a room and with that, they're afraid that other people are thinking there's an opportunity with you. But more so, I feel for most of you, again, it's just like, the fear of because it's still not a hundred percent solidified in any way of being exclusive with one another that maybe all this happiness is like an illusion interesting placement to have the sun in um also <laughs> i get that like someone here has like an like people, you two kind of argue over like the heater, like someone always likes to have the heater running in the car, in the house, and someone always tries to turn it down because they're like way too hot or something. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but obviously that's a message for someone out there. I also kind of wonder, Cancer, too, that if they really think that if they were to lose you, all their happiness would just like go away, which again, I think there has to be certain working out and kinks working out of attachment within this connection. And some of you kind of already sense that a bit. Others of you are just starting to kind of pick up on a bit of a codependency or over attachment. Now this is interesting. Highest hopes, five of pentacles. So what I feel with this, with all the cards here that are being shown on the spread, I don't feel anyone's in the Five of Pentacles right now, however, it's like still yearning for more, wanting for more, not feeling there's still enough in this, that that's all going to be resolved by the end of January, that they can at least tell people, make you Facebook official, Facebook public, or tell everyone that you guys belong to each other. Because there's still something here that's lacking, whether that is a full-on commitment, whether that is you two moving in together, whether that is um whatever right i also feel um someone could be struggling financially with the five of pentacles and they're hoping to save up for something um save up to a gift to give to you or maybe even so like they may have been embarrassed these last few dates they've had with you where they couldn't fully pay the bill or couldn't take you where you wanted to go because they didn't have the money for it for some of you that's where a lot of insecurities are lying um but this person has a deep, deep fear of rejection and abandonment. And they're so afraid that that's going to happen with you, Cancer. For whatever reason, right? Someone also may have uh, struggles right now finding a home, a stable home. And maybe they're hoping to move in with you or you two to have a place together as well. That conversation may come up. What they don't, or their deepest fears about this connection is the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That it will never get to their grand goal with you of having it all, literally. Being in a committed relationship, buying a home, getting married, having kids. Uh, that's everything they daydream about having with you, Cancer, literally. Even if you guys have just known each other for a few months, a few years, whatever, that is their end game. That is their end goal with you. And that's how much they want this. But again, with the sun and the ten of pentacles, both in kind of like these fear-based 
placements of this spread, like they're afraid that's all going to be taken away because it's not going at their pace. It's not going at where they want it the most, but maybe cancer, you're just still feeling out to make sure it's all secure and that there is no tricks up someone's sleeve or anything that someone's hiding, whatever the case is. I think their deepest fear is that they wouldn't accomplish having a long-term commitment with you, that you're not feeling the same, that you would want to keep it casual, all that energy surrounding this Ten of Pentacles. Wow. All right, Cancer. For the extended reading, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo, where I'm going to overturn this card here to see the likely outcome, what is likely to happen in this connection unfold, what are they likely to do, and all that good stuff. I'm also going to pull some oracle cards to dive deeper into this connection, to ask questions about what else you need to know about this person, about what is going on in this connection, what is the purpose of it, all that good stuff. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart Cancer, I really hope you enjoyed this message. I hope this gave you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's going on in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you Cancer very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.